Hello again, it's April here and welcome back to another studio vlog. We are starting on a Tuesday night this week. I just finished work, it's about 6pm, had to work a little bit late to get a video out. But then I took my work computer, uh, unplugged it all, put my regular computer back in, my personal one. Because tonight we're going to be doing some Christmas card printing and I'm very excited. I finished my last Christmas card design yesterday I popped them all on Instagram and I'll pop them pop them here so you guys can see uh, I got a lot of like really positive feedback people really love them so I'm hoping if I get them in my Etsy shop I get a few sales before Christmas I know I'm definitely a bit late I'm not gonna have a big Christmas update I'm literally just gonna do those three cards I was thinking about doing some sticker sheets too so maybe if I wait until the weekend to do my shop update I might do some I don't know I'm not like a massive Christmas person like I love Christmas I love eating delicious food and getting presents obviously but I'm not like a super um like I love Christmas trees and Christmas lights but I'm not like one of those people that start watching Christmas movies in November or like put their tree up you know <laughs> so I'm not like a super huge Christmas person but I just had all these ideas and now I just want to do them and I'm thinking just wait till next year but then the other half of me is like do them now so we'll see what we get up to um Martin's making a lot of noise in the kitchen, so I better go see what he's doing. So I think dinner's almost ready, and I will pop back and we'll do some printing later. All right, I've got some, got to get some orders ready. I thought, just pop you here. Here we go. Right, so I got four orders, two birds, two birds, and one veggies, which is good because I've got so many vegetables after doing my tests last week. Literally open up a green grocery shop and a guinea pig sticker, fluffy guinea pig, and my personal favorite. I am artist, and then I need to print something, so I'm gonna do that now. So I had to print out one of these Norway houses to send because I was low, and this is the first time I've used this paper, it's the Marat paper, really nice, double sided archival. Uh, matte paper and I, so I did the two Norway I did these two which I needed to do a little tape which is a bit smaller than the original and then literally I hate wasting space so <laughs> look at these look at these teeny little things that I did so I'm going to cut them now but yeah I was really nervous about about printing this because I was worried the uh, colours were going to be wrong because I haven't tested it yet but it was perfect this is always the most nerve-wracking part, like if I've done it straight. Yeah. But effect though. Look at that. Not a single, not a single miss like pixel of the other colour on there. Oh, that's because it's on this side. <laughs> this um guillotine, I know a lot of people have trouble with this paper cutter. But honestly, I have never had a problem with it. Just gotta go slow. I find it it's better at the top here than at the bottom if you're looking for a really good cut I have no idea what I'm gonna use these teeny teeny tiny ones for I just I hate wasting paper so I just cut them out and I just keep collecting them but they're so cute people were saying in my last video to use them for art journaling which is a really good idea and one that I was thinking about I used to do a lot of art journaling when I in my buy, back in my buy bun days I was obsessed with Bye Bun. Still obsessed. But I don't watch her as much anymore because she doesn't really she doesn't come out with YouTube videos much anymore. So I'm on Patreon now, which I was her Patreon for a long time, maybe almost a year. And then I had to stop doing Patreon last year. Because I was a bit low on funds, so I'm just getting back into it now, which is nice. I was watching Fran Nerd all day. Trying to catch up for like a year that I hadn't been a, a patron of. It's quite interesting actually because I started all the way back in January of this year and it's like oh yeah the world's normal. It's gonna be almost like watching a horror film like going forward. Didn't want to miss out on anything you know. Using up these that I used they're like leftovers from when I did my packaging for my Polaroids. I think I've shown this before but I've been using them to do my single stickers. You know, I don't have, but I have any freebie stickers right now. But I've got heaps in here. They're just not the little fox right now. And I don't want to get the Gertie out because she doesn't do well at night time. 
Imagine if someone just got, I was just thinking, someone just ordered a sticker and randomly got a, a broccoli sticker in their, in the envelope. They'd be like, why? Oh, why broccoli? I'm going to do it. <laughs> and the polar bear. So random. Sorry, my uh, Etsy today when I went on to look at my orders, it told me that I have now had 500 sales, which is crazy. I remember when I got 100 sales and I was like, what? 500 seems like a lot. And then they, they do it by sales and not orders. But still, 500 items people have brought from me. It's quite a lot, isn't it? Uh, I did change some of my Etsy stuff yesterday. I've been thinking about it for a while. I wasn't going to do it until January, but I decided to do it last night. Just, I don't know, just to see if people still buy them. Because basically... I have quite a lot of single stickers and I thought when I opened my Etsy shop that people would, they would be add-ons like people would just add them on like they'd buy an order and they'd think oh it's only a pound I'll just add it on to my order but people actually just buy a lot of my orders are just single stickers like someone would just buy a single sticker I was looking at the cost of it and by the time you put like a, a freebie sticker in a thank you card the um, you know the envelope whatever else you do the packaging uh, it, it's kind of like not, you're just basically just giving it away, which it doesn't really make good, very good business sense. A lot of people that I follow, even even that I buy from, have single stickers that are priced a lot higher than mine, sometimes double, you know, I've seen stickers like £2.75 for a single sticker, and I brought quite a lot myself, because I think you guys know I have a problem with stickers. And, uh... They're, really, they're good quality, but mine are good quality too. So I was thinking, why don't I just put the price up and see if people still buy them? And if not, obviously I've got a bit of a problem and I'll make, put the price down again. So I've just put them up from a pound to one pound thirty, which I think seemed like a pretty good deal. And at the same time, I also put down all of my clay pins because I have been, I have become obsessed with people's clay pins right now. Like, you know, people are doing the resin and stuff and making them look so beautiful and i'm thinking if other people are putting out such high quality pins on their shops for sometimes even cheaper than what i was doing my clay pins for oh the light's gone martin had my light on my light that he got me for christmas he had it on yesterday for his guitar lesson and hasn't charged it and i'm not impressed so basically my clay pins i put them on for seven pound fifty but mine are all done with Mod Podge, which is, I mean, it's, it's, it's nice. It gives it a nice matte feel finish, which is what I wanted at the time. When I, when you see all the shiny ones now, they just look so pretty. So I put all my clay pins down from £7.50 to £4.50. And in the new year, I will probably take them off the shop or do them as like a sale. Because I think right now I have so many because I have like all different categories because I went a little bit clay pin crazy. And I think sometimes it's not... The best idea to have so many like if you have only a little i remember when by amy opened her shop she had maybe like 10 and i really wanted one of them i wanted the ghost but someone had literally bought it before i could so i was really sad but she's done another batch now and i'm sure they'll go fast too so i was thinking like it makes you kind of feel oh you gotta hurry because someone else is gonna get it and i think that's it's kind of like psychology i guess but if it works it works so yeah that was just a little bit about etsy stuff so I think over the Christmas holidays I'm going to have a good sit down and a bit of a planning session about like planning out some kind of update ideas. And I know that I definitely want to have all my stationary stuff out mid-December if I can, ready for January, you know, when everyone wants nice new notebooks and stuff. And I really wanted to do, I've had this idea for almost like two years that I wanted, that I've been wanting to make products. Um, I want to do a set of Valentine's Day cards, but I want to do them with animal couples and they're all like puns and I made one for Martin a couple of years ago and I put it on screen it's uh two llamas and it says I llama you a lot and I just loved it so much and I've had a few ideas for different ones so I think it would be nice to do that too but apart from that I'm not really sure of any ideas like seasonal ideas just kind of themes you know I still want to do that farmyard one ah, I think a space one would be fun even like ocean creatures or something there's so many ideas so oh, obviously a whole Digby thing. Dinosaurs? I better stop because I'm literally just gonna be I'm just gonna be like yelling words at the camera all night long about things that I want to make. So I'm gonna finish these orders, my battery's about to run out, and then I'll pop back and we'll do some Christmas card printing. 
Looks pretty good. Oh, I love it. How cute is it? Okay, let's do the other two and then we'll fold them. I'm trying something really dumb. I don't think it's gonna work. It's uh, glassine paper. I don't, I don't even know if it's gonna pick it up. Come on. Oh, it's doing it. Okay, I had this crazy idea to print on glassine paper um, for the little like belly bands, I think they're called. So uh, we're gonna see if it works. I'm sure people have done this before. Like I can't be the only one to think of a silly idea like this. I just did a test and I did them in different sizes, but it looks like the ink is very wet. Yes. <laughs> I did it on the glossy side. Um, maybe I should have done it on the non-glossy side. I mean, it pretty worked. I think if I get this paper and just like flatten it for a bit before I put it through, it could possibly work because this has only happened because it was like, you know, curved. I'm back in the bedroom because Martin's on a phone call for work, a very late night phone call because uh, his work also has offices in Australia. They have to do these phone calls like once a week. Anyway, no one cares about Martin's work. Martin barely cares about his work. <laughs> All right, I have done my Christmas cards and I love them so much. Um, i could just take you through what I did. So first, I think I showed you this one when I printed it. So I printed this one in Print Studio Pro and I liked everything, but then I noticed, I don't know if you can see, cut it off there like I cut it off and it's uh, a little bit to one side than the other and then also on this side my logo is a little bit to one side so resizing it didn't really work because there is no borderless option so it was kind of hard you had to do a custom size I went to a Photoshop and just printed from Photoshop I did like a black and white just to get the like adjust it a little bit so I just kind of pushed this a little bit more to one side in a second which is this next one so the distance is perfect now, the back's perfect, and I also upped the saturation to see what it would look like, and it was too dark. So then all I did is took the saturation back down to zero. I upped the brightness a little bit, because my logo was super dark, and also just to make like the colours pop, and this is what I came up with. Here are the three cards together. So there's Happy Holidays, Have a Cracker Christmas, and Merry Christmas, I went within the end. I really love them, I think they're so cute, honestly. They're blank on the inside, and they come with three lovely brown envelopes. Oh, four lovely brown envelopes, no, can't get that one for free. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to package them yet. I have these two bags. This one's too small, sadly, because that would have been perfect. So I'd have to pop it in the thing and then do this, you know which I guess is fine. I could also just not have them in one of these starch bags, but I'm just worried if they go in the post and it's winter, you know, here, winter in lots of places, lots of rain, I don't want them to get wet. So I'm thinking that probably best to keep them in a little bag. And then I also had an idea to do like a belly band, you know, like a, a paper band that goes around the side. And I really love those clear ones that I see people do. I don't know if they use tracing paper, but I don't have any tracing paper, so I tried to do it on this glass seam, which I think I just showed you. And I think that looks quite nice. I think I would... I do like how it's um, clear. But I think I could also try paper too, that might look a bit nicer. Yeah, but I'll do that tomorrow because I'm quite tired now. I think it's almost 10. I need to print the labels for my orders and go take them to the post box. It's quite nice doing it at night time. Normally Martin and I like to do a nighttime walk to get ready for bed. Let's uh, do some more art tomorrow. I was up this morning designing these belly bands, which I didn't actually use in the end, and trying to figure out my Christmas card wrapping. So the first thing I did is I printed out this here. I kind of did different designs with different colours, different stars. So lots of stars, a little bit of stars, no stars. And then I made the belly band things and I popped them on the cards to see what they look like. But they looked a bit weird. I think they're a bit too busy and also I didn't like the fact that you had text on the belly band and then text on the card. It was a bit confusing. And also even on the purple one, 
here it kind of cuts off the dinosaur's heads which wasn't the best look so in the end I decided to go really simple and I just popped it in my A5 bag I had to fold it over but I tried to be as neat as I could just popped a little sticker on the bottom so you know who it's from and it's less packaged in this way so all you gotta do is rip open the bag and there you got your cards so you don't have to like worry about other packaging as well so I think that's good I'm gonna it's not very nice today and also I have to work and it's gonna be dark after work so probably tomorrow lunchtime I'll try and take photos of these and get them up Etsy maybe right the weekend I'm not sure I really love seeing these beautiful leaves on the lawn and he's just blowing them all away what's wrong with leaves Am I allowed to film random people, Martin? Okay, so one guy's raking the leaves, one guy's blowing the leaves, and I think it'd be really funny if one guy rakes all the leaves into a pile and the other guy blows his pile away, but I'm pretty sure they're working together. Ah, oh, do you think they'll let me jump in the pile? Fly in the room. Wednesday night, about seven o'clock, and I'm gonna do some sketching. Um, sketching in my sketchbook and also I might do a one hour one layer on Procreate if I'm feeling frisky. I was editing my video for tomorrow before dinner and I was going to finish it after dinner but I'm not really in the mood so I think I'll get up tomorrow morning and finish it because I actually quite like getting up before work and like editing stuff if I have things to edit. I don't know why. I think it's just because it's on the computer and you don't really have to be that awake to do it and also it kind of gets me in work mode because I'm already kind of like doing stuff I would be doing in my day job so yeah I think I'll get up and finish it tomorrow it's gonna be a video on how I gained well I don't quite know what I'm gonna call it yet but it's basically how I personally got the confidence to go on camera and vlog so that's kind of what the video is about and I have like these, if you guys have seen it, you you would have seen it, but if not, um, I'll leave the link here. And I have these like, kind of, not bloopers, but they're like test vlogs that I did before I started vlogging. And I was cracking myself up with them. I don't know, just, just stupid little things just made me laugh so much. So I was having a right old laugh fest before dinner. It was quite nice actually. Uh, the only thing is in that video, I filmed it on Monday? No, I filmed it on Sunday. I can't remember, but it was the day when the spot on my chin that I have now is going was the literal worst. Like, it's just like, wah, 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 look at me. <laughs> like that. But I filmed it anyway, and I didn't I think it, I thought it was going to be all right. And then I was like editing it, and I was thinking, the spot has got to go. So I even went so far as to try and do, um, it's this thing in after effects that you can do you can do the same thing in photoshop it's content aware fill and you can like circle what you want to get rid of and it content aware fills it but because it was like a 10 minute long video and i'm moving my head a lot like when i talk i just kind of like i'm all over the place you know um so it just wouldn't do it like it just couldn't track my face or like the spot on my face so i wasn't gonna post it and then i was thinking april this video is about how to get confidence to go on camera and and one of the things I talk about is I'm talking about like I'm not like I'm self-conscious when I see myself you know but you just have to kind of push past it if kind of you know and you get used to it and you have to be like honest and open I don't actually think I say any of that stuff but I was probably thinking it as I was saying it you have to kind of like be natural be yourself so cliche and i was thinking it's just my face you know i do this on my vlog i don't hide anything on my vlog so just because it's like a regular video doesn't mean i should try and change myself so i'm gonna post it <laughs> so that should have gone out that will go out tomorrow so you, hopefully you've seen it by now let me know what you think if you had and there's also a few more things that i wrote down on my post-it where's my post-it gone I wrote down a few things on a post-it to chat to you about that I remembered. So I'm actually going to do like a little draw and, chat, chat, draw and chat session, draw and chat session because I really like those. And we'll chat about these. I'm going to be working in this sketchbook today, which is Strathmore Mixed Media Sketchbook. I haven't um, drawn in this for ages. So I'm going to work in this. Got my iPad, got my Mac, 
ready so I can watch YouTubes, but not when I'm talking to you, obviously, because that would be really rude. I've made this, um, okay, so this is my Instagram, and I've also made another one called Monkey Mintaka Inspiration, and I have 19 followers, 19 followers, but I'm actually never going to post anything here. Basically, I just went online and I found stuff and I asked people for things, inspiration for different stuff. There's a whole bunch of stuff, things from the past, accidentally Wes Anderson, I love that account so much. Uh, National Geo, there's Still Here, Still Life, which I love. They post still lives, like this one here, and then people draw them and I guess they share the still lives. It's pretty cool. I really like this one here that they did recently with the fruit and the lemons and stuff. And what else? Like fashion stuff, just random fashion people, interiors. This one here I was just about to draw. I haven't actually drawn anything yet from the like this inspiration account. So I'm just going to go through and find a few little bits I like and fill up a couple of pages, see how long it takes me, and then we will pop back to the iPad. And let's get drawing. First I need to make sure I... Okay, I'm timing. Because I think I mentioned it in my last vlog. I really, really want to see, as a challenge, if I can double my, my drawing hours next month to this month. So, I don't know what I'm on right now, actually. Should we have a look? <laughs> I don't know if you can see every time I open my phone, you can see mine quickly. Watch. <laughs> um, a time log. So, right now, for the entire month, I've done 15 hours and 19 minutes. Which is quite a lot, really, if you think about it. Do I have an eraser somewhere? I think I saw it on the floor. Aha, it was on the floor. So, there's a couple of things I wanted to chat about. One of them was Etsy ads. So, oh, this is going to be bad. I just got a feeling. I'm going to try and draw it, like, stylized a little bit. Because, I don't know. I just, I just don't think I've... I'm not in the right drawing, uh, I, I'm just not ready, I'm not ready for a, a fancy drawing. I decided to do this kind of uh, experiment, I guess you could call it, where I do Etsy ads, and I've never done Etsy ads before, I have no idea anything about them, I didn't read anything, I didn't watch anything, <laughs> I'm so lazy when it comes to like doing stuff like that, I just would rather figure it out myself. It's kind of like when I got the Cricut and the Silhouette and I didn't read any instructions. And sure, I definitely screwed a lot of stuff up, but it was fun, wasn't it? It was pretty fun. So I'm just trying to figure out this this lady. She has a very large neck. So I basically decided to do Etsy ads and I just did the minimum, minimum, which is a dollar a day. And I'm going to do it for 30 days. So... To begin with, I just went on and I, I put all of my stuff on, like everything that you can think of. I think I have like 75 listings or something like that. So I put all the listings on and called it a day. And I didn't really think anything about it. I actually completely forgot I had done it. I was looking through my Etsy thing and I remembered that I had done it, which was like day five. So I went on and I had a look. And you can, if you haven't never done this before, it's quite interesting actually. You can see all the items that people have like clicked on how many views they have how many uh, orders you've got and in my case at that point i had no orders you can filter it by revenue or clicked or whatever so at that point i was like wow i'm not getting anything and i didn't realize that actually you they take money if you if people just click on your stuff i thought they took money if they bought from your shop but it's actually if they click on it so i had quite a few clicks i guess but no sales so i was thinking about it and i still didn't do any research because that's just boring and i was like maybe it's because i'm only doing a really small amount like it's probably not reaching that many people i'm doing a really small amount of money and i've got all of these listings and i i was i was thinking if if it's only a dollar a day they must do it like they have to spread that dollar amongst all of your listings so I thought I would take it to day 10 which was to yesterday 
and then I would take it from all of my listings to just my sticker sheets and then from day uh, 20 to day 30 I would just pick one sticker sheet which I'm probably going to do the artist sticker sheet and just see how that goes and I thought that would be a pretty interesting experiment to see if you can make your dollar last like go further if you just have one or just like a selection rather than everything which I I have no experience about this so if you do and you're laughing at me that's cool but I'm figuring that's the case like I'm figuring that the le the least list listens that you put it on the uh, more uh, like you'll get out of it you know so I might get more sales I might get more clicks whatever because basically all the people that would have clicked on all of my like all the people that would have seen those 70 whatever listings are now only seeing one listing so I guess there's a more possibility that they'll buy it I don't know I don't really know how it works I just thought it'd be an interesting experience because I've never done anything with ads before like, like on Instagram on you know public radio <laughs> Do people still do people put ads on public radio? I don't know. I can think of any other places that you have ads. How is this going? How is this woman going? Do you, what do you think? Think she's going okay? I mean, it's gonna be too late by the time you tell me because I would have finished her. Uh, so I probably will do a little recap at the end of the month and we'll go over everything and kind of see how it worked out. And I think that would just be really interesting. And if it like. I don't know because right now I've only had one sale and it says I've made a one dollar and sixty two cents of revenue oh Jesus I can't know it's gigantic but I've spent like I don't know ten pounds ten dollars or something so really probably not worth it you know because I'm not I'm not about to spend a whole bunch of money like I just want to do it as an experiment I don't want to do I don't want to do Etsy listings as part of like I don't know a plan so that's uh, the first thing I want to chat about second thing I feel like I'm just listing things off now it's not really a conversation it's just kind of like me listing stuff but that's fine is this morning I woke up and I went to work as you do and a couple of hours after I, woke up, I was so so dramatic this morning when I woke up everything was the same I went to work and I uh, just you know got checking instagram as you go i do quite enjoy checking instagram during the day you know Keep, keeps the day going doesn't it a bit more exciting just think about art and stuff and drawing and and i had a a thing from mossery and they had featured me in they do like these artist features i guess on their page and they asked me okay so this time last year just after inktober they mustery messaged me and asked me if, if I they I could uh, be featured on their page and I was like a oh, hell yeah mustery and then like they le never did and I just thought I just thought maybe they rethought me like they were just like mm, she's n nah we'll go with a different person and then today they uh, featured me so I guess they must have like a really long list and they just I don't know go through them but. I was super surprised. It was so exciting. So I went on there and I had a look and <laughs> I didn't even read what I'd written last year. Um, I don't even know what I said to be honest. I'm sure it was amazing though because it was from me. So I thought that was pretty cool. That was in the morning and that was after I had done my Christmas cards which I just loved. I just oh, just loved them. And then that mossery thing. So I was like pretty in a pretty good mood today. I was like yeah, day's going pretty well. And the work was really good. Just a nice day, really. Quite a nice day today. So I can't complain. Um, what else? What else did I want to chat about? Oh, one thing that did happen today that was a bit annoying is I got an order back in the post box. And the last time I got an order back in the post box was because I accidentally put the wrong label on. <laughs> but this time, I didn't put the wrong label on. Everything was fine. I had done it through uh, click and collect click and drop click and drop so everything was fine with the weight and the postage I double checked it had the right label on and the customs label because it was going to America and somehow I think the postman just was tired or something this morning and they sent it back to the return address because it basically just came back to me it was stamped and everything like from the post office 
so not really sure what happened there but I'm a bit annoyed because I don't think I can put it back into the system now that it's been stamped I think they will get confused so tonight I have to take out the envelope put it in a new envelope print the label out again which is fine like you don't need to pay for it because when you do click and drop it you can like it saves your labels and that's as a pdf so i'll just print it out is she wearing a bush on her head she's she's wearing a bush on her head <laughs> stupid hat <laughs> do people actually used to wear these things ridiculous her head must have been absolutely like about to fall off and this hat is all wrong yes that's everything i wanted to chat about on my list i'm probably just gonna i don't know i've probably sped this up a little bit because i think i'm gonna keep keep uh filming while i'm watching some youtube now but that is all i wanted to chat about don't want to keep you you probably got places to go people to see so well, i'll check back um check back later talk to you later alligator all right my camera is crooked so i'll just skew my i don't know what keeps beeping i think martin keeps getting notifications on his on his ipad or something and it just keeps going Bleep, bleep, bleep. And I keep thinking it's for me, but it never is. Alright, so I finished the sketchbook spread. <laughs> I didn't record much of it. I recorded about half of it because it took me an hour and a half to do. <laughs> I I don't know I don't know why why does art take so long? I love it though. I think it's so nice. Okay, so it's like a, a super random Victorian lady, selfie lady, poached pears. I'm getting hungry just thinking about them. Uh, then I did this like cup with fruit and stuff and flowers and then I stopped recording. And then I did a puffin flying, which puffins look really weird flying. I didn't even know they could fly. I thought they were like penguins. This random lady enjoyed her pose and then I finished it off with some lemons because I figured when you have some spare space, you can always fill it up with cut fruit. I think it doesn't matter what you have on the page, it always looks good. And then I put these little boxes in just to kind of like tie the pages together. And I think it looks really nice. I'm really happy with it. Uh, so it is nine o'clock now, is it? Yes, it's nine o'clock. I could do another hour of art. Do I want to? I'm not sure. Let me go see what Martin's doing. Thursday morning and we've got some guys outside fixing the driveway. There's like, there's always been like problems with the bricks and stuff, so that's good. Hope they're not too noisy though. It's Thursday lunchtime, uh, still lovely and sunny out. I'm going to see if I can spend 10-15 minutes quickly taking pictures of my Christmas cards and all of my second uh, prints so I can get them up on Etsy because I don't know if it's going to be sunny again this week and also I still have to like edit them and do the listings and stuff. So I want to give myself a couple of days to do that so I'm not stressing. So uh, let's, let's get on with it. So I'm going to do my second stickers first. So I'm putting up some skull stickers that are slightly misaligned bird stickers that printed out dull so they just look like a different a duller color and then I have these guys that's all printed slightly misaligned mainly on the bottoms like the top ones are normally perfect if I can so the top ones are normally perfect and it's normally just the bottom ones that are like slightly misaligned see the little birdie there like he's still in it but just more white on the top then I got a couple of retro party packs that I accidentally printed on matte paper instead of glossy. And last but not least, <laughs> I have my um, artist sticker sheet, but I accidentally die cut them instead of kiss cut them. And it says birdhouse in there, but that's fine. <laughs> I'll just finish up that. I'm just going to do these Christmas cards. I don't have anything Christmassy because all our decorations are actually in Martin's parents' loft. So just going to do like a super simple uh, little photo here. There's still noise outside. They're doing stuff. I got this light here because not honestly getting much light from the window with all the shadow in here. And I got this light over here which isn't, it's just kind of like making all of this bright here which doesn't really need to be bright but hey it's fine. All right we're just going to take these and finish up and do the work. It's Friday. Um, Martin and I have just been killing some zombies. What did I say? Uh, what did I say last time? Do you remember? It's. I just don't know. Shh. Don't get, don't get the camera. Okay. 
Shit. Yay, the weekend. Stop looking at me. This is the second time I've done this. The last time I did it perfectly, I promise you. But Martin had music playing in the background and I didn't want to get copyright striked. So, round two. Friday night, um, we're in the office. <sighs> the printer is going crazy. I'm using my old printer just because I couldn't be bothered to like walk to the other room. Having two printers is literally goals. Remember last week when I said I wasn't ever going to use Gertie for like a month? Well, it turns out when I cut all these stickers out, I accidentally had forgotten this blue cap. So I had to go through and cut some more out to match. So I'm doing that now. And then at the same time, I have these from my uh, dinosaur gift cards. And I'm going to make little gift tags out of them, which I thought was going to be super cute. So got some more there waiting to get printed. And I'm just going to get on with it. I'll show you what everything looks like after. So after a little trial and error, I think we got there. This one here I printed. First I printed it in a circle. To begin with, I actually had it cut out like an outline for a sticker. But it just looks really messy. So I did it in a circle. It looks okay, but I cut it off at the edges. And it, I think the bush was just too close. So then I made them smaller. They look okay, but it looks very strange in the bottom where it's just like empty. So I tried one where I cut it off in Photoshop, like at the bottom, so it was almost like a semi-circle. But they're all different kind of sizes, the three of them, so they looked odd. And then I had the brilliant idea to make it a square. So I made it a square, and I think these are great. And instead of doing 12 of one, I did four of each. If I can find the other one. All of them printed out so I could see how they fit, what they look like. And I'm going to take these into the bedroom now and do a little test with the whole punch to see uh, if I can get it looking nice and these would like be my test ones and if they work out I'll make some more tomorrow take some photos and pop them on Etsy I got these these bad boys I got this hole punch it's a two hole punch so it's going to be some careful precision lining up there and I have this grey grey twine which I quite like because it's neutral I also have this pale pink one which will definitely go with the pink one and the orange one. Not sure about the purple. I mean, yeah, I guess it does because it picks up the tone. So I'll try both. I did also look online today for this kind of string. If you can hear the bombs going off, I don't know what they're doing over there. There's like an army range a few miles from our house and sometimes they just let off grenades for fun. So, yeah, I was looking at uh, Christmas twine, you know, like the red and green one, but it would just clash with this. Oh, it's very, very difficult, guys. Oh, <laughs> I ruined again. Okay, we've got two more chances to get this right. If this doesn't work, I'm obviously going to have to find another way because this, that was pretty good. All right, there we go. Two out of four, not bad. Now, can, do you think you can do two at a time? Because that would make the stress level go down a little bit. So today I also managed to do my Etsy listings for my Christmas cards on my second sale. Ah, I'm getting good at this now. Look at that. Perfect. So I can pop those in tomorrow. And I also, I'll show, you t I'll show you guys tomorrow, but I also did some stuff for my Twitch. Which I'm hoping to finish tomorrow. And then, <laughs> hopefully, I can start Twitching soon. Don't know if I'm going to tell anyone about it. I think I might just do one or two where I just don't tell anyone. Which I don't know that's a stupid idea. Because if I don't tell anyone, no one might turn up, you know? But if I do tell people and people do turn up and it's I'm, I suck at it, that would also be bad. That's a little bit on one side by accident. Or you could be really clever. Yeah. And you could just put a hole for your... <gasps> oh my god, why didn't I think of that? Martin, do you like them? Yeah. Okay. This is what they look like, and Martin had a brilliant idea to cut the hole with the silhouette. So I might try that tomorrow. I think she can cut holes that small. But yeah, tags version one. It is Saturday now, and I did do some print tests with the tags, with the Cricut, the silhouette 
Um, and I did do them round, but it seems to have just cut oval. And I tried a couple of different print settings, but I don't know if it's because it's just too small. You know, like the circle's too small. Um, and then I thought these were a little bit too big, so I made them a bit smaller. And we're going to see if the string goes through here. So I spent about 15, 20 minutes putting strings on all of these bad boys. Um, these ones here are with the big holes, and I think I'll keep these for myself and I'll probably pop them on uh, orders during December and also if someone has a gift order I thought that might be quite nice but I thought it was just something a little extra for Christmas and actually I didn't even think about this myself Liz uh, from Liz VR asked me if I was going to use them for my parcels and I was like that's a good idea so that's what I'll be doing and I still think I'm going to try and pop these on my shop this weekend just to see if anyone wants them if not, I mean, it's not a big deal. I'll just print them and make them on demand. So it's not a problem if no one buys them. So the holes in the end looked fine. They are a little bit oval, really, in reality. But you can't really tell when they're on. I don't know if it's just because the hole of the silhouette was so small. These are all done. Oh, it's such a grey day out. Like, look out here. If I turn my lamp off, you can see how dark it is and gloomy. And it's all rainy. It's actually really nice just sitting here drawing. Well, it's a nice sitting here cutting string. But, um, can you see my lights? We go over here. My hair's a mess. I haven't, we spent the entire morning, we spent the entire morning deep cleaning the kitchen. And then I went to have a shower at lunch and the hot water had run out. It doesn't come on again for a couple of hours. So I like stepped into the shower and it was freezing. So I haven't had a shower yet, but I have one a bit later, just to keep you in the loop. Uh, and what I'm going to do now is I probably won't take photos until tomorrow morning. Hopefully the sun will be out. So I've got a little couple of little bits here that I'm going to do. I'm going to make some stuff from Patreon. So um, I've got a no, uh, I've got a digital download thing to make from a Pennis Illustrator and also Tink, um, Tink outside the box. So I'm going to make those now, and it'll just be something nice to do. I'll show you them. When I finish, it's just like a little arts and crafts out. <laughs> so the first thing I made is hanging on the mirror. Hello. And it's by uh, Tink outside the box. And it says, everything be will okay. So that's good to know. But yeah, it's pretty cute. And then for the next one, we're going to turn the lights off. And I made this little house from beer from a Penis Illustrator. And I've stuffed it full of my lights in there hard to see but they're actually little rainbows so keep this here for a little bit turn it on <laughs> kind of looks scary like it looks like this is like the mouth and it's frowning at you and these are the eyes and they're just like staring into your soul like i will eat you but yeah it's pretty cute it's saturday night now it's about 7 30. i feel like i haven't spoken to the camera all day because i haven't we spent so long this morning doing the kitchen we did like a spring clean i guess you could call it but we took everything out of the cupboards cleaned everything sorted everything out put everything back got rid of a whole bunch of like tupperware and weird stuff that we just collected over the last few years that we just don't need so we're gonna probably have to take it to a charity shop or something like that i think there's grenades going off at the army base it doesn't sound like fireworks there's definitely grenades if you can hear that so we had dinner had a lovely shower of Made my face all clean with all my clean and stuff, so it feels nice. And right now, I'm just kind of like sorting out OBS stuff so I can try and stream soon on Twitch. <laughs> I almost, I almost forgot what the word was, and I was like, "Is stream the right word?" That sounds so weird. It is the right word. So I just show you what I'm doing. It's like super unoriginal because I'm just basically trying to get everything up right now. And then if I like Twitch, I can like redo everything maybe design it to like be a little bit more cohesive and stuff but i'll kind of show you what i got going right now okay so this is my channel right now i need to sort out an offline i think an offline image or something um i sorted out my about section so it just says a few little bits about schedule which isn't really going to be a schedule youtube etsy instagram rules which I'm, I'm not really a rule follower but it's basically just be nice to people and then i got my instagram feed here and I've got this dude, what did I call him? Was it Jeremy? I got him kind of as the main picture just because it's the most recent thing I've done and I really like the colours. And then 
nothing's in videos right now and nothing's in chat so over in OBS I basically have just been setting up all of my scenes which I think I showed last week so right now I'm trying to do my starting soon uh, be right back and end in stream images what I'm doing is good old Digby because I thought it'd be kind of fun to do and I didn't want to make something new just in case I didn't like it so I think this is gonna be my starting soon one where Digby is just getting ready and I probably write something like starting soon putting my face on <laughs> I went right there starting soon I don't know get your dinosaur onesie or something this one's gonna be taking a break so taking a break Get, get, get yourself a snack or something and then this one is gonna be stream ending soon I've got to go do some chores or I don't know I just want to just see something silly like what I'm gonna do now I just tested it to make sure the size worked and it did so that's good old 1920 by 1080 um, I'm gonna go back to procreate where I have all these images and just kind of fix them up and do some hand lettering to say like stream starting soon things like that and then there's also a few more little bits that I need to figure out on Twitch how to do. One of them is how to uh, turn off my f viewers because I don't want to know how many people are watching me or in this case probably not watching me because that's just going to make me nervous. And then the other one is, I can't remember what the other one is, but tomorrow hopefully I'm going to have everything up. I'm going to do a, a live stream test, so maybe like five minutes just to make sure everything works, that I can get or like everything basically up and change the scenes and stuff have Martin in the other room maybe write a couple of comments just to make sure that works and then my plan is to start sometime soon so if you are interested in watching me on Twitch my username is Monkey Mataka over there I have had people say they can't find me so if you can't find me I did ask Twitch and they said once I start a live stream you should be able to find me in the uh, search but it is Monkey Mataka and I might also put it on Instagram when I'm streaming for the first time, but I'm probably not going to do it. I'm probably going to go on there uh, and not tell anyone. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I'm very nervous about it. When I did my confidence video the other day, I was thinking, remember how nervous you was to do YouTube April? And now, like, you love it. Like, you love vlogging and stuff. So I'm hoping it's going to be something like that, where I'm really nervous, but then I get into it and it's fun and stuff. So, wish me luck. If you've done it and you have any tips on your first stream, let me know in the comments below. That would be awesome. And hopefully I will see you around if I'm there. Yeah, come and say hi. It's Sunday morning, about 11ish. It's absolutely beautiful out, which is amazing because it was so dark this morning. But the sun's come out. It's really nice. So I've got a little setup in the office to do my Christmas cards. Uh, I, I have, I'll just show you. I was going to explain it to you, but I can just literally show you. Okay, so when I said Christmas cards, I meant Christmas tags. So yesterday I went into town and I tried to find some wrapping paper. I was all a little bit garish. So I tried to pick the kind of like the most neutral kind of wrapping paper. And then also me and Martin can use this to wrap our presents up, which would be good. So I wrapped up some boxes of tea, which would be nice for Martin later to unwrap those when he makes his cup of tea. Just like having a little present in the afternoon, you know? And I got all my tags here. So I think this is quite a nice little setup. Just simple. Got my light on my chair here and this other light and Gertie's watching over just supervising she's sleeping on the job as usual so I'm just gonna take some photos and then we'll get them on Etsy doesn't it make making a cup of tea so much more fun yeah <laughs> what are you gonna get what are you gonna get chamomile Boring. Martin and I are out for a walk in the woods and as soon as we got here it started to pour down with rain and the day I decided to leave my hood at home because the buttons are all falling off, Martin isn't happy. He doesn't like the rain. You having fun Martin? Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't see through my glasses anymore. It's very refreshing. We got back from our walk about half an hour ago. It started pouring of rain like a two minutes into our walk and then it literally stopped when we got back to the car. And sun's out now, so mildly, mildly annoyed. It's fine though, um, second shower of the day, not too bad. It was freezing cold though. But 
at least we got some exercise and I came home and I finished off doing my Etsy listings and I've got them all published now so I'll probably try and save some of those photos and do a little Etsy post just so people know and I'll just kind of show you what it looks like so in the shop I got these photos I think they look pretty good and for the gift tags where are they there they are I, these are the ones that I took this morning and I think the pictures actually turned out pretty pretty well a little shadowy because it was very dark but I tried to fix them up as best as I could on Photoshop so yeah we'll just see how they go I've put the tags up for two pound for six so uh, two of each and then for the Christmas cards I put them two pound each and they come with the envelope and then three Three of them come together in a pack for five pounds, so you save yourself a pound. I'll just see how they go because it is like almost December now, and I guess people probably might be doing their Christmas shopping already. Or they've already got stuff, or the right things might not arrive in time. I'm not quite sure how the post is going to be. This is my first time having Etsy over Christmas, so I can't really say how long things are going to take, especially with you know the mail might be a little bit slower these days. So I'll just see how it goes. I'll give you an update next week and we'll see if any sold. But now I'm going to do my listing and then, I don't know what I'm doing next, I might edit my vlog. A bit of fun for a Sunday afternoon. So I'm back at my art desk, thought I'd try and draw for a couple of hours. I got this page here that I did last night with just circles of paint and I asked on, on um, I asked on Instagram what I should paint in the circles and I got quite a few responses back and I thought instead of drawing in my sketchbook I would take a photo of it and then I would do everyone's suggestions in Procreate so I can like post them all and then I'll probably pick my favourite one and do that one in here and it seems like a lot just from like a question but I think it'll be fun. Only problem is, whoa, I forgot to take a picture during the daylight so I've got my super bright lamp here which I'm just playing with. And I'm gonna hopefully take a nice photo now so I can pop it on the old uh, Procreate. I've got the camera rolling to film it. New angle. I've got all of my computers set up. La, la, la. And I'm just gonna do a quick uh, stream on Twitch to see if it works. I'm very nervous. A lot of people come in and are like, What are you doing? And I'm like, I'm dusting. Wish me luck. Put my hair up because it's really hot. Should I press start streaming? Wait, how do I put a title on? So do I just put my dashboard? I don't even have a title for this video. Alright, let's go live. You are live. No, I mean let's go onto this view. Testing, testing. This is a test stream. Oh, I don't have to write anything, do I? I can just talk. <laughs> my first stream. Okay, now let's have a look at the iPad. One viewer, hi. Um, I'm just testing. So, uh, this is just a test. I'm sorry to disappoint you. We did it. Okay. So, can you anything that you any feedback you can give me about my my, my stream, mine? Um, I'd like to see a bit more art. <laughs> <laughs> I just finished my test stream, and. Uh, I've just been editing editing it from a vlog. I've almost finished my vlog now and It was pretty fun actually. It's pretty fun because I knew it was only gonna be five minutes long I had no idea what I'm doing. I still have no idea how to put a title on a film uh, on a video on a stream and also I got really excited because I got one viewer which I don't think you probably should do uh, in real life like I heard that the is actually really delayed how the view count goes up and down so I was thinking about it and it was probably just Martin because it was just delayed from him watching it because he was like helping me sort out the audio and everything. So yeah, I got that done. Gotta figure out how to do the title and the tags and stuff like that. But we're getting there. I think we're really ready. I'll pop the web thing here so you can uh, f follow me if you want. If you want to see when I'm streaming, I'm not sure. And that's about it. So I'm just going to show you one quick thing before I end the vlog. And then I think I'm going to end because it's quite late and I want to get this edited before I go to bed. So I just wanted to show you the two tiny little drawings I did, I managed to do. I was on the phone with my sister and these actually took me 40 minutes to do. So the first one is funny faces, so I just did these cute little faces in circles. And the other one is very similar, 
it was my avatar but with different expressions <laughs> I love this one here and this one uh, but yeah that was pretty fun so I'm probably gonna be popping these on Instagram over the next couple of days so keep an eye out I have about eight more ten more to do the lighting is the lighting is so shiny on my forehead um so yeah that's all that's all for the vlog this week it was quite a long one we got quite a lot done happy that we got the christmas cards up and happy that i did my test stream but that is all for this week i hope you guys have a lovely week and i will catch you on the next video thanks for watching bye